overtime, came in, and they were like, wow, it's crazy. Turned pro straight out of high school. I started knocking down threes, it's amazing, I feel great. When it goes in, it goes in, like, I'm lit after that, like, I'm turned, I'm coming for the next one, and, and after that, I'm coming for the other one, so. As soon as the ball goes in, I'm already thinking about the other side. Never thought of something like this, it's, it's blessings, straight blessings. I've been playing basketball my whole life. My cousin was like, come to the courts, come play. I went Air Forces to go shoot. It was funny, he was like, I was just not for me. I was like, yeah, I'm out of here, bro. And then next thing you know, I'm, I'm hooping. I'm working out every day, trying to get better, learning, and here I am. Saying goodbye to my mom and my brother was, was really hard. I'm used to seeing them every day, being with them every day my whole life. Just make sure like, you're good with your people before you go away from them or something, because they could be gone in a second. My name is Emmanuel Maldonado. I play point guard and shooting guard, and I came from Atlanta, Florida. So I do everything for my mom, my brother and sister, and my mom. She's by herself with them, raising them back home. So that's, that's all that's in my mind, trying to get them out. So once that happened, I'm good. So what made me sign to OT was the coaching. I knew Coach Ali, the experience from college and the NBA, so I really opened my eyes to that opportunity. So it's a lot of value in what I'm trying to teach and what our coaching side is trying to drive. But y'all got to implement it and y'all got to receive it with an open heart. All right, it's about elite, overtime elite. Everybody understand that? No one ever showed me how to shoot or anything. I just always had a shot. We was playing threes. It was all good. I was making my shots, playing good. And then I didn't know I was playing defense. And I, I hit my finger again. My teammate trying to grab the ball. And I dislocated my finger. It's just like stuck. You can't, you can't do nothing with it. You can't even try to put it back in yourself. It has to be someone else. It's crazy. And I try to swipe it. And once I swiped it, I hit like the chest, and it just dislocated on the chest. I wasn't gonna take it too hard. It was like it was just dislocation. Like NBA players dislocated and they get back on the court the first day. So I was just trying to get back fast. I already knew what it was right when it popped, but it's just unexpected. You never know it's gonna come out. Yup, I'm a pro the next day, gotta bounce back. One of the oldest ones. I'll for sure take that leader bro. Get the guys going. Telling them like what's good and bad. Giving them a good example. Practice is done and now we head to class. I'm starting to learn how to make beats now in my internship. The music is a big part of my life for sure. It brings me joy. It's something I laugh about, like when we freestyling and stuff, saying funny things. It's just happiness, to be honest. It started freestyling with my cousin inside the house. That's what I use to calm myself down and stuff like that. I'm getting voices right, getting the drums, the set, all put in the right spots and stuff. So yeah, I'm just learning. Straight business, uh, hard work, sweating tears to this. Back in Miami's training camp, it was kind of hard. First time meeting them, first time seeing them, first time seeing how coaches move, how they work, how they want us to work, level five. Level five is keeping intensity, talking 24-7, talking to your teammates, clapping, all the good stuff. Work on y'all professional development. They kept pushing us. It was, I think, six of us, or five of us. And we was doing a lot of work, so yeah, it was hard, it was hard. When I played versus the Mellow Ball, it was a regular game, regular day. I was just locked in, trying to score, trying to get my team to win. I was just in the zone, I didn't even think nothing of it, I was just playing. I had 30 points. If I played people like Rocket Watts, the Mellow Ball, Anthony Edward, mad people. If I could play versus them cats, I'd go to the NBA for sure. The 
right when we get back and get done from everything, get back to the flats, take a shower, and just relax. Y'all right here, Josh Smith, my teammate right here. Till it, right now you're rocking. This is what we just chill, eat some food, just cool it really. And this is my room over here. My fashion, that's, that comes first, that's like, when you see me, that's what you see first. I'm all about fashion. You got the mocha one, something like. Got some Versace. Yeah, for sure, Jordans. Then we could go uh, Gucci. You no, know, I like every Jordan. I'm about to start getting every Jordan. As a player being on T, I want to grow my relationship with other people, meet new people, always open to new relationships. What I want people to remember from me is his, his character is always high, always good character. Now I'm viewing everything different. Now I'm just more patient, taking things better, calm, and we're here. That's what it takes to be a pro. Y'all swear y'all could guard me. I don't think so. Y'all need to watch these videos though right here and subscribe. Then maybe you could guard me.